Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and before we move on to working with our surface view, I just want to mention quickly a few things about the graphics and the sounds that I'm going to be using in this tutorial. So the, uh, well in this section of the tutorial on animation. Um, the graphics and sounds, of course, they don't really matter in the sense that they can be whatever you want. But I just want to explain where I got the graphics from that I'm going to use. And in fact, in the game that I'm going to create, I, I want to have a little thing that's going to look a bit like a sort of, I don't know if you know those sweets called Smarties, but they're kind of like flattened balls. So it's going to be like that. And if you're drawing graphics on a, on a background, to make them look more three-dimensional, even if they're kind of 2D, even if your game's 2D, it helps to have a shadow. So what I decided I wanted was I wanted to have a little sort of 3D looking graphic that looks like it's got a bit of cur curvature to it. Whoops, I don't know what that was. And um, I want to have a bit of a shadow underneath it. And I searched around and I found this site imagico.de and this shows you how to use Ray. that's the point uh, persistence of vision ray tracer which is free software to create this scene here which is kind of an icon with a shadow underneath it and it shows you how to separate out the icon itself from the shadow so you can render the shadow and you can render the icon separately and I'm going to use that I, well I have used it to create a graphic which I'm going to use in my tutorial which I'll show you probably next time so if you do want more information about rendering icons separately from their graphics, although this is not central to this tutorial and I don't want to get into graphics here, but if you want to know more about that, then I'd recommend this um, imagico.de slash pov slash icons.php because it's quite a good resource. And there is a bit of a learning curve to pov ray, but if you're really into games, maybe it's, it's worthwhile, I don't know. And to create the sounds, although the sounds are not exactly the greatest sounds in the world, because I didn't put much effort into them, I'm going to use the Cycle Modular Music Creation um, software, Cycle Modular Music Creation Studio. And again, that's free software that looks like this, which you can use to make um, actually pretty impressive sort of music and I actually downloaded this can take VST plugins uh, I think that stands for virtual studio I'm not sure and you can basically find a lot of free virtual instruments on the internet which you can then um, this music studio can then they can be plugged into it and you can then use those sounds so I also use the I think it's the crystal virtual synthesizer which is free, or at least the one I used was free. Crystal Synth, I don't, I don't think it's that one. Crystal VST instrument. I think this is the one that I've been using. And just to show you really quickly, if I search for Cycle, then here it is coming up in a second. This is it. And I use this um, let's take a look. I use this Crystal VST. So all this is free, and this is what I use to generate my sounds. And I'm not going to go into all this stuff because this is obviously these are obviously huge topics in themselves. But I just wanted to mention this. And Povray was the thing that I used for rendering. And uh, this this again is free, and you kind of have to write a sort of um, it's kind of like a little language that you have to learn in order to render stuff. And this is like the bat that I'm going to use in my kind of tennis game. And it's got a shadow behind it. And there's also a sort of button graphic that I'm going to use. And this is actually the shadow for the button. And I can probably show you the button itself if I can remember the right option to render it with, which is probably this one. There we go. So I'm going to use this. So that's it for, for now. Uh, just a quick mention of that stuff um, so that you know where to look if you want to get into this. 
and we're going to get back to doing some coding next time. So until next time, happy coding. <laughs>